Call all agents, call all agents, this is Agent N107, back again with Richard and Alice, and right now we're playing Alice. Now, I'm going to mention it, because I like mentioning people who give me ideas. Specifically like, said I should do 20 minutes, so we're going to go with that. We're going to go with the whole 20 minutes thing, is that we waste our 20 minutes talking about me changing the length of the of the series episodes. So, we're going to keep going. So... Um, other thing of the day, plus the people play who made this game, plus the people who have played this game, because I'm having, I actually had a nightmare about this game last night. Um, and bless everyone watching. Amen. By the way, if I make any bodily noises this episode, I did eat about 20 seconds ago. So, your farts, burps, anything, I'm going to ignore them. But if you hear them, you should ignore them too. So leave me out of it. So I've been sitting about here for about an hour now trying to figure this out before because I'm not allowed to use walkthroughs. Thanks a lot, Werewing. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to use this bloody key everywhere, actually. Um, I'm going to take some witch's house out of here and just see if this will work. I'm already, I know you're already carrying it, Alice. Fine. Get out of the way. Let me do it. That wasn't sexist in any way, I hope. Okay. Toy car. Smash it against it. No. Dang it. Note. Notey. That won't work. Yeah, I think I can guess that. Okay, well, we've already done the small key, like... A bajillion times now. So, yeah, this is. Yeah, I'm at that point where I decided to use every item on the one place that seems like we're supposed to be going. There's like a foot under my door. Whose foot is it? Ah, it's her foot. What do you mean it's nice in here? Yeah, I would, I would tell you the story, but I'm recording, so. I don't want to tell the story about it. I am recording Richard and Alice. Which you haven't watched, so... Okay, I will be on that SUNY patootie. Okay. I, I just need to get through 20 minutes of this. Barney... Wait, what? Wait a second, wait, wait! The gun? The gun's the thing that works? Okay, then you say so. Let's do this thing. Barney! I, I, I don't remember how to do Alice's voice. Barney, can you come here for a minute? I think that's how it is. Barney, can you come here for a minute? Uh, uh, that's a... <clears throat> Barney? Barney? Barney, can you come here for a minute? Oh, goodness. The walking in this level of it. What's wrong, Mommy? Nothing's wrong, sweetheart. Do you know... <clears throat> Do you know what this is? Um, it's a gun, like bad men carry, bad men carry, bad men carry, okay. Um, it's, it's a gun, like a bad, oh, goodness. um, it's a gun, like a bad, like bad men carry. That's right. And you know what guns are very, very dangerous, yes? Hold on. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. They can make people go dead. What's with this kid and going dead? They're loud. They're loud and scary, and you should never play with them. But mommy has to use this now, Barney. So I want you to go over there, look away, and cover your ears. Are you going to shoot someone, mommy? No, sweetheart. I'm going to shoot this padlock off so we can get inside. Does that sound good? You can have a little sleep then. Okay, mommy, be careful. Walkity walkity walk a 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 walk I would love to actually have you in my field of vision. 
Okay. Don't you think he's going a little far, Alice? I can't even see him. He's like out of my field of vision. And while my vision is more limited up here. Oh, good. Whew. Okay. That was fun. That's done it. Gun's empty now. Might as well keep a hold of it anyways. Barney? Darn it, Barney, did you leave? <sighs> Barney's gonna be the death of me. I never thought I would actually ever have to say something like that, actually. Barney? I'm confused. Is it is Barney returning? Please tell me because I do not want to go after him. I will I will if I have to, but I won't be liking it. Please be Barney. Please be Barney. Please be Barney. Oh thank the Lord it's Barney. Oh man, these are many other words I was expecting not to say in my life either. Hoping that was Barney instead of something else. Don't get it, I'm talking about a purple dinosaur called Barney. I think I mentioned that in a previous episode. That was loud, Mommy. I covered my ears, but it still hurt. I hope nobody... No, it's fine. Right, are you ready to carry on with our adventure, sweetheart? I'm ready for anything, Mommy. Yes. Please don't turn that into a dirty joke, I beg of you. Okay then, in we go. Stay behind me and keep very, very quiet. Oh, it's nice in here, actually. <coughs> oh! I don't know. That's disgusting! Mommy, this place is smelly. Keep your voice down, honey. He Hello? Anybody home? Hello? I, I need to be quiet, actually, right now. I have my grandparents over. Judging from the smell, I think we're alone. The light's on, though. Hmm. Mommy, it's really stinky. I think we're going to find a dead body. I know, sweetheart. How about we take a look around and see if we can find a way to clean up this mess. We need to get the door locked again, too. How does a treasure hunt sound? I'm sleepy. I know, honey. Not long now. But look, there's nowhere to sleep, is there? I feel all sicky. I'm not surprised with the smell in here. Let me take a look around. S -s -s saving Actually, you know, I almost actually lost our spot because I accidentally clicked play instead of load. Okay, won't be able to go in there. Up here. Oh, great. Ooh! That is some slick stuff. Hey, Barney, come look at this. I think it might be a toy chest. Hey, at least everyone's moving faster again, jeez. Man, the ridiculousness of how slow it was out there. Can I play with the toys? If we can get it open, sure. What's in there? Well, I don't know. It's not open yet. Let's open it. It's a magical toy chest. I have to say the magic words. Do you remember the magic words, sweetheart? Open sesame! Oh, it's locked. I'm sorry, sweetheart. That's okay, mommy. Can we unlock it? We can certainly try. Let me just look through this closet right over here and see if there's any, like, stuff. A load, <clears throat> a load of different clothes. Male, female, old, young. Weird. At least we can use this for bedding later. 
There's something sticky. Oh, there's something sticky in the pocket. No, there's something sticky at sticking sticky. <laughs> I hate the stick. I hate the word sticking. I hate the sticks and stones and break your bones and stuff like that. There's nothing. There's something sticking out of a. Yeah, sticking out of out of a pocket. Here. Sticking out of a pocket here. Let me take a look. <sighs> Torn paper. Is it a part of this paper? Why would I do that? C can we read it? Yes, I know, I know. Click it. Click it. Oh, goodness me. No, I just realized my sister Rose Love would not like Alice at all. She doesn't trust redheads. So, which she has told me many times. Better not meet the Scottish men, Scottish people, then, because you're not going to trust a single one of them, because most of them are redheads, so. Which is odd, because one of her favorite movies is Brave, and Merida is a redhead. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, goodness, I didn't read. Hmm, there's a bit of paper in here, too. Goodness, we're filling up our inventory. Tin of sweet corn. Nope. Okay. Oh my, Barney, it works! We have water! <laughs> You're silly, Mommy! Barney, don't! Oh, never mind. We have water to drink. Cooker. Let's have a look in this. Hmm, it's a bit old and dirty, but it seems to still have power. There is a baking tray inside, too. I'll leave it alone for now. I don't trust one inch of this house right now. As much as my sister hates redheads, I hate houses that have nobody in them. List. Can I read it? Let me read the list, Alice. There's no way I'm touching that with my bare hands. What is it? Rotten food. I. With the rotten food, I'm very, very disoriented about all this. There's no chance we're getting up those stairs. Oh, I see rubble. There's rubble in the way. You know what? There's no way I'm going to be able to move all this. Great. So, what are we going to do with all this? Okay, we're gonna feed this to him, I guess. We'll eat in a bit. Da 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 bin bags. What does this do? This is gonna help me move it. Da da da. No, can I read the note? Oh, there we go. Your Yorkie, while you were out, the silly. Started bashing on the filing and shouting about her meds. She's gonna bring the whole roof down. The others are getting distressed. Me and Jay are ready to lose our poop with her. Was tempted to c cave her. <laughs> Swearing in this game, oh my goodness. Amnesia wasn't that bad for me, mainly because it. They said it, and I didn't have to worry that much about it. <sighs> Skull in, but the world would go ape poo poo if he found out. Oh, but D would go ape poo poo if he found out. You brought her here, sort your poo poo. Out or a boss, something I don't I think I know what that word is, but according to what people told me, it's, it's mainly is where I don't know. I don't, I'm just gonna leave it. It's gonna be short on co co collection day. Did you know he won't like it? See, handwritten note. 
Okay, let's see here. Okay, so I think I figured out how to read these. Here we go. Um, I have no clue what this means whatsoever. I really don't know what that means. Okay. Um, I think we already read this one. For you, they've all gone and there's nothing left. I've moved on and so should you. The others will never understand. Jake. <gasps> I was here. Okay, well, technically not me. I don't, my real name's not Jake. So, maybe going by Jake at some point, maybe in my life, if someone asks and I feel like not telling them my real name for some reason. Um... There we go. Honorable discharge. This is certify that Molecule York Mosley has been uh, honored. On honorably, honorable yeah, honorably discharged from the armed forces of <coughs> stuff. Okay, what else do we got? Good industrial strength. So it's great that I figured that trick out. Torn paper. Toy car. Toy car Barney gave me. So. Now to figure out what we're supposed to do from here. So. Be right back on that one. Trying to figure out all this stuff. Because I don't want to. Oh. Barney. Be a good boy and wait right here. I'll be back in a minute. Oh great, not more of the slow walking. I'm going to come back guys when I know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. So, because there's no way I'm doing all this walking for a 20 minute video. See you guys later. Hey guys, I'm back. Now, I just wandered around out there for about 20 minutes, actually. Walking around with the very slowest walking ever, looking around trying to figure what I'm supposed to do. Then I realized I had a small key, and I realized that the toy chest was locked, and I'm going, Oh! Let's see if this works! Well, what do you know? The key fits the lock to the... St stupid Agent N. Stupidy, stupidy, stupid! Okay. Excuse me for not making that assumption. Keep it on the toy Yay, let's look at the toys, mummy. Hold on a minute, sweetheart. Let me check if there isn't anything inappropriate in here. What's inappropriate? As I say with a very innocent face. Don't. Inappropriate things that wouldn't be right for you to play. <laughs> I don't even know half the stuff that... I can think of a lot of toys that were meant for kids that went horribly wrong. And then there's like a bunch of toys that aren't really actually meant for kids. And I'm gonna just stop right there. Because if this game is like the rating I think it is, we're probably gonna go there anyways. But I'm not. Like dollies? Well, I'm doing that slap in the face thing a lot right now. <laughs> no, not quite. More like broken glass and things you can you can play with dolls if you'd like, Barney. I'm not gonna make a sexist joke. How dare you think I would do that? Mommy, boys can't play with dollies. Well, looks like he did. <laughs> Who told you that, sweetie? Clifford tell told me it once. Clifford? Who's he? My friend from before, Mummy, from home. Oh, yes, of course, the Petersons boy. Well, Clifford is a big silly, and you can tell him he's wrong next time you see him, if you ever see him. Clifford went off into the snow with his Mummy and Daddy. Yeah, there's still a few chances of him living. Oh, so he did. Well, you can play with whatever toys you want anyway. Please don't be anything. Please don't... Oh completely anything. Huh, oh, there's a toy robot. Look, Barney. Would you like to keep this? Yay, thank you, Mommy. 
And we already hit the 20 minute mark, and that's kind of my fault. So we're going to keep going just slightly a little more. Oh, yay. Thank you, Mommy. I, I need to at least get through this cutscene. There's a little keepsake box in here, too. Okay. One other thing, because I feel like I'm an idiot for not doing this. Um. And I just thought about the bin bags and this stuff. I, I, I think the locked room is going to have a dead person in it. Ugh, this must be weeks old. Wish I knew where they got it from, though. They are big wasters, Mommy. I e I eat it all of my dinner. You did, Barney. You're a good boy. Look at this stuff. Shame on that one. Barney, don't you dare eat any of it. <laughs> Mommy, do you think the bad men are coming back? Okay, you know what? We're going to stop here because... I'm a jerk like that. So, this is Engine 107 signing off.